Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a new type of video for my channel. This is going to be a monthly memory plan with me. And here I'm going to be recording all my highlights and gratitude from the month of January. One of my goals for 2024 was to be more intentional with my gratitude. So I wanted to actually keep notes of different things I was grateful for in my life and then record them. So I've been recording them for the most part in my East to West Studio Planner, which is a functional planner, and it does have a dedicated section where you can write down a daily blessing. But because it is a functional planner, I don't find myself flipping back through it the way I would a memory planner like my Hobonichi cousin. So it's kind of hard to be intentional with remembering what I'm grateful for, if that makes sense. So what I decided to do was take all my gratitude and blessings that I've recorded in my East to West planner and move them over to the monthly spread in my cousin because I don't use the cousin monthly functionally. It usually just stays blank. So I thought it would be a great place for me to record my gratitude. And also it's kind of like being doubly grateful because obviously as I'm writing down the daily gratitude in my East to West planner, I'm thinking about what I'm grateful for. But here, as I was recording everything I was grateful for throughout the month, it really made me think about how blessed I am and really made me feel really grateful to God for all the things he's done in my life over the course of the month. So I've already started planning in here as you saw. I decided to use the Winter Wonderland Bullet Journal Kit as the main deco for this spread, although it was already partially decorated because I did fill it out sort of when I was setting up my cousin for this year and I wasn't sure how I was going to use this planner or this spread particularly. Along with that bullet journal set, I'm also using my typical Twisby Eco fountain pen. I'll have that linked down below along with the ink I use in it. So I just sort of spread out the watercolor swatches from the bullet journal kit. I wanted to balance the spread as best I could because I didn't have any washi tape that I could incorporate. I could not believe I didn't have any blue or sort of snowflake winter themed washi tapes. So I kind of had to make do just with what I had on the sticker sheet. I took the ripped sort of paper looking stickers and put one at the bottom and then the other one I used to put on the sides. I really like how that turned out. On the far left there, you can see the, the snowflake, no, the mitten checklist. I guess I have snowflakes on the brain. Anyway, the mitten checklist I put down and used it to mark the Bible verses that I was trying to memorize during this month. I thought that was kind of fun. I do keep a list of verses I memorize every year in the back of my planner, but this way I know specifically what I was memorizing and when. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna go through every single highlight here because that might be a lot to talk about, but basically my highlights slash gratitude slash blessings can be pretty much anything or kind of a combination of those three things. Sometimes it's a quote that someone may have said. So for example, on the first of the month, that was a quote from someone that I wanted to record. Other days, it might be something that I did and that I was proud of myself for and other times it could be something totally just random and honestly kind of small because of course we all have days that aren't the best and it's sort of hard to find something you're really grateful for in that day. But I tried really hard to find something every day that I was grateful for, even if it was a really, really small, almost insignificant thing. Although I think it was the 21st of this month, for some reason I didn't fill out a highlight for that day. I don't know if I forgot or what. It was on the weekend and I don't typically use my East to West planner that much on the weekend. So I think maybe I just forgot to fill it in, but luckily there was some deco stickers on this bullet journal set. So I put that, or I put one of those deco stickers on the 21st to fill up the empty box. Otherwise I think it would have been really weird to have one empty box <laughs> after a whole month of gratitude. So the first sticker I put down was the Winston Holding a Heart sticker. That is, of course, from my shop. If you are new here, my shop is Nightingale Paper Co. and our little character is named Winston. You can find the link to my shop down below. Tuesdays, or the second, I should say, not just Tuesday, because we have a whole month of Tuesdays to go through. But on the second, I put down a Money Winston to mark that I officially paid off all my debt, so I'm debt-free again. I actually, in 2021, I finished paying off my student loan. So I was debt free then, but I made some unwise financial decisions at the or in the last six months of last year and I got into a small amount of debt again. So I was working really hard to pay that off 
and thankfully I am debt free again. I'm very happy about that. On Wednesday, I had put down a watercolor swatch from the bullet journal set and that little cloud sticker is actually from, it's not from my shop, it's from a sticker sheet that I got off of Amazon. I don't even know if I can find it, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below. I'm mainly using Winston stickers here. I was also trying to go for a blue theme. Again, I don't know why I was struggling so hard to find blue and winter and snowflake stickers to match the spread. I really thought this would be the easiest color scheme to do, but I didn't want to stray from the blue, so I was kind of debating whether or not to use, for example, the gold star sticker on the 4th or the chocolate sticker on the 9th because I wasn't sure if it would look weird to have those colors with the blue but i think overall it turned out okay they're kind of like neutral stickers so they don't really clash with the blue on the fourth my highlight was getting finished with all the end of the year sale orders which was fantastic i always get a little bit um anxious i guess when i have a lot of orders i just really like to get them sent out as quickly as possible and i know y'all look forward to your orders so I don't like to let them pile up, I like to get them finished as soon as possible. The sticker on Friday the 5th is not from my shop, that is from Grin and Barrett Plans. I will link all the sticker shops I mentioned down below, which is going to include stickers for Saturday the 6th and Sunday the 7th. On the 6th, that sticker is from Happy Daya, and that is a quote that I took from my Charles Spurgeon evening devotional that I've been doing and absolutely loving. The sticker on the 7th is from Paper and Milk. So cute, I really like that sticker. So moving along down the days on the 8th, okay, that little cat in the cup sticker, no idea where that's from. I've had that sheet for a long time and it does not actually have a shop name on it. So I'm really clueless as to where it came from and I bought it years ago. On the 9th, as I said, that Reese's Cup sticker is from my shop. On the 10th, my highlight was that I hit 2,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really appreciate it. I just can't get over the fact that I hit 2,000 subscribers. Of course, I had to use a YouTube Winston to mark that. I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you, and I cannot wait to see how my channel continues to grow. I hope it will grow a lot this year because I'm trying really, 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 really hard to upload three videos a week, which can be kind of overwhelming, but I really enjoy content creating and getting to interact with y'all in this format, so hopefully I can keep it up. The little ink bottle sticker on the 11th is from my shop along with the Winston face on the 12th. On the 13th, I put down a USPS truck sticker because... Oh, what is going on with my camera here? I don't know why the camera was shaking so bad right there. But anyway, on the 13th, I put down that little USPS truck sticker. That is from Sugar Pop Fizz, I believe. Again, I'll link these shops down below. And that was to mark that Ashley, well, Ashley's friend actually sent her a package and it was a really great package. So I wanted to mark that in my planner because I was so excited and happy for her. Honestly, when Ashley's happy, my life is perfect, so a lot of my highlights and gratitude revolve around her. Alright, I put another swatch on the 15th. That was just really to balance some colors. I honestly wasn't sure if the watercolor swatches were going to work in these boxes because they're not sized for these boxes, but it turned out really well. They actually fit almost perfectly. And the little excited sticker is something I made for myself. Also on the 14th, I wanted to mention that my highlight was getting back into, or getting into junk journaling. And overall that highlight kind of relates to getting back into hobbies because another thing that I kind of, I don't know how to describe it, kind of fell away from doing last year was my hobbies. So I didn't read very much. I didn't play with my planners as much. I wasn't crocheting as much. I pretty much stopped hiking altogether. And I really want to get back into my hobbies this year. And I can already tell just one month into the year that spending time with my hobbies, which is like self-care, is helping me so much with my mentality and how I feel overall. So I'm super glad I am back into that. And I'm so glad I got into junk journaling as a new hobby. The sticker on the 16th is from Happy Daya. That was to mark a very productive work day. And on the 17th, I used a Perfect Winston from my shop because our newest sticky notes came in and they actually came out even better than I expected. I always get nervous when I have to outsource products because you just never know how they're gonna come out at the end. And I have had issues in the past where I have to have it redone or 
just had to scrap the project because it's not working. So when these new sticky notes came in and they were perfect right off the bat, I was so happy. On the 18th, I put down another sticker from Grin and Barrett Plans to mark some amazing happy mail I got from a friend. And then the 19th is a great example of a small highlight. It was not the best day for me, but I found these little, I don't know if y'all have seen them, they're little pretzel nuggets that are stuffed with peanut butter. Found those at the grocery store and I decided to try them and they were super good. I really, really liked them. And even though this was a very small and sort of insignificant thing, it really turned my day around to have a nice, fun snack that did not have a lot of added sugar because another one of my goals for this year was avoiding added sugar. Which, as a small side note, I've noticed that has the biggest effect on how I feel and also my skin looks so much better when I don't eat tons of added sugar. But I won't rant about that right now, I just wanted to give an example of a sort of small blessing that just, it really can mean a lot when you're not having the best day. Also that peanut butter sticker is from my shop but it is now retired so you cannot actually get that anymore. On the 22nd, I put down a balloon sticker from Happy Daya that's actually from a sampler from her shop to mark that I got a birthday gift from a friend. And then on the 23rd, I used a Happy Mail sticker that I believe is from Sticker Fever. I think from Sticker Fever because I got some vintage ephemera in the mail. I got a little packet of stamps, which I was so excited about because I collect stamps already. And then to have vintage ones to go into my junk journal is just so exciting. I already looked through them all, of course, and there's some that are so perfect. I don't know if I can use them, but I'm gonna try and make myself use them because that's the purpose of ephemera after all. I had a very productive day on the 24th, so I wrote that down as my highlight. And then on the 25th, my highlight was just Ashley because she's my best friend and she makes me so happy. And I marked that with a little Munchkins sticker from Once More With Love. That was actually the last sticker on that sheet and I really need to get more because I love using those stickers to mark me and Ashley hanging out and doing stuff together. Also on the 20th, I didn't mention, but that sticker is from Sweet Avis Paper and I used that to mark a nice hot bath and I like to read while I take baths, so I also marked a good book because that is a hot bath and a good book is like the best combination ever. The 27th was a big day because it was me and Ashley's 28th birthday, so I did use a watercolor swatch to mark that. I also put down two birthday stickers. They are both from Happy Daya, and that little cake is so cute. I actually love cakes that have fruit on top like that, although I don't really get to eat them that much because I pretty much only bake things for other people. I don't eat that much added sugar, as I said, and usually when people request cakes, they want something very chocolatey or very sugary, so the cake fruit the fruits with cake on them, the cake fruits, not exactly. The fruits with cake on them are reserved basically for summer, but then again, that's kind of good because obviously in the summer, fruit tastes way better than off season, so maybe this year I'll make it a priority to make more fruit cakes. That might be really fun. And of course, I'll try to share it on my Instagram. I do like to share my baking with y'all on there when I can. And right here you can see on the right side of the page there's a little guinea pig ice skating that is some of the deco that i put down before i actually knew what i was going to use this spread for so it doesn't match perfectly but it's really cute and those days are not actually in this month so it doesn't matter that much that it's taking up space there on the 29th i put down a sleep in or sleeping winston to mark that i slept in and then on the 30th i put down a little relaxing girl from Pumpkin Paper Co. because I took the day off. I just felt like I really needed it. And now I'm putting down my last highlight for the month, which it just says Viper. It's kind of a long story, but I wanted to put that down. And that is going to complete my memory spread. And here I'm zooming out for you to see the whole thing. I love how this turned out. I definitely think it's going to help me be more grateful doing this every month. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!